Hello, hello, it's Monica from Crafting with Schooling Lady and I hope you have absolutely fabulous day. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a shaped card in Art Deco style using no cutting dice. If you like it, I really hope you'll feel inspired and craft along with me. I'm going to use one of the best collections ever from Relatively Thoughtful called Art Deco 1920s style. As you can see, it has lots of stunning design papers and patterns with beautiful colors. However, today I decided to play with some darker colors. I don't really do it that very often, so I really wanted to challenge myself and just see what will come here. And to be honest, if you want this collection is a printed version or digital version, I leave the link in the description down below so you can check it out. If you get the digital collection, it means you can print it as many times as you want. However, with the printed version, the quality of the paper is absolutely phenomenal. So if you want to get it, I really encourage you to try it. I also printed some of the elements to Fussy Cut from the digital collection. If you've seen my previous videos, you know how much I like Art Deco style, so I simply couldn't resist. You can create small cards with those elements, or you can Fussy Cut those elements as well to create stunning and personalized projects. So first, I'm going to create a card base, and I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. I don't have any circle nesting dies, big ones. So I'm going to use a circle cutting cutter and I'm going to create a semicircle seven inches wide. And this is crucial because I want my card to stand proudly on a flat surface. So here I've got 300 GSM multi-purpose stamping card and using my lightweight circle cutter from made to surprise, I'm going to create that circle seven inches wide. And then later on, I'm going to cut it in half, which will give me the card base. So if you don't have any big circle nesting dice, that is the way to go. And if you're interested in any of the products I used in today's video, you can check the description down below. So when this is ready, I'm going to do exactly the same with the black matte card from Crafters Companion. However, I don't need to cut the whole circle because I only need half of it. So then I can save the other piece for add other elements. When this is ready, it is time for slightly smaller gold circle. And this time I have to make it smaller, so I move the blade a few inches. So when this is ready, I'm going to cut the excess off and it will be slightly smaller, which means I have that beautiful black frame. Now I decided to play with those dark colors. So I thought, let's try it. I've never done it before, so let's have a look. This time I'm going to make it slightly smaller than the gold panel. And then when we put all those together, we're going to have beautiful nesting element. So that was the way I wanted to achieve here. If you like that technique, please let me know in the comments down below. I also wonder what is your favorite art style. If you do prefer one of them, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you have that favorite one, do you try to make your project in that style? Please let me know. And if you have created one, please share it. I would absolutely love to see it. To put all the elements together, I'm using my one and only liquid glue, magic glue, because I do have time to maneuver all those elements. As you can see at the very bottom, I've got quite a lot of excess. So it is time to trim it with a guillotine. This is the easiest way to do it. So now the panel is ready and we can start decorating the card. But first we need to cut the base. So I'm going to use my mechanical pencil to draw the line and I'm going to cut along with my guillotine. So this way we will have the front and the back panel for the card. Super quick and easy, right? So if you like shaped cards, maybe this is the way for you. 
to do it. Now, we have to decide how to decorate the card and make sure that it's even more special. Because semicircle is good, but can we make it better? Of course we can. And with Art Deco style, it's all about shapes and symmetry. So that's what I'm going to do here. So first, I'm going to create a panel that is two inches wide and it will be four inches high. And as you can see, I can put all the measurements here. So if you want, you can copy them and create your own project. And I'm going to uh, make some sides half inch to the left and to the right. Now using my pencil and ruler, I'm going to draw those on my black card because I really wanted all the elements to match. That's why I decided to use the black as I did for the bigger circle. So when this is ready, I'm going to measure two inches. And as you can see, I always do a three dots. So I have to measure three times because this way you will have a nice straight line. I also wonder, have you heard about RT Create, Make and Share on Facebook? If you haven't, I left the link in the description down below. It's a Facebook group for fans of Relatively Thoughtful. And if you have any of the design papers, please share your makes there. Now it is time for our second element. And this one is going to measure a little bit more, which is three inches and one quarter and it will be three inches hot, tall. And again, I'm going to cut the excess on the sides for half an inch. So again, I'm measuring three times just to make sure everything is beautifully straight because it is our deco in the end. So we don't want any mistakes here with the design papers and also the patterns included on the background papers. And again, I'm going to measure half of an inch from each side and then create that four-sided shape. And now it will be time for the smallest element, but it will be the widest one. And this one is going to be four inches and a half and it will be two inches tall. If you want, you can take a screenshot of my measurements and create your own card with those elements. So again, I'm going to measure it with my ruler and using my pencil, I'm going to draw it. And I think the easiest way to cut it out is not to use scissors, it's actually to use a craft knife. But if you're scared, you can always use your scissors, but try to use the ones with longer blades because this way you can have a straight line very easily. So now it is time to cut half of an inch from each side at the very bottom and join our points. Super quick and easy. And this way we actually have that art deco element on the card. And now it is the tricky part with craft knife. But is it tricky? Not really. All you have to do is just to be careful because you don't want to cut your fingers. In the description down below, I left the links to Instagram, YouTube channel and Facebook group for Relatively Thoughtful and also Craft World as well. So we can check all the beautiful makes and new designs over there. And I do encourage you to have a look. When these elements are ready, I thought I really like them, but is there a way I can actually make this card even more special? So I had a look at the papers and I decided, as I told you, some darker tones because let's challenge yourself right it is the time so to make my job super easy i'm going to turn over the paper and using my pencil i'm going to draw the biggest shape and i'm going to show you the trick how to make sure that it's beautiful and it's cut properly so all you have to do is to use your ruler and leave a small gap if you want, you can measure like two or three millimeters. However, at this point, I didn't measure. I just eyeball it and it will be slightly smaller than my black elements or panels, let's say. And this way, everything will match beautifully. If you want, you can also add some gold mirror cut in between. However, at this point, I decided against it because I thought that would be too much for those small elements. And now it is time to put those 
panels together super quick and easy and I encourage you to use a liquid glue because you do have time to maneuver all those elements and it is very crucial especially if you have some nice borders I like it now it is time for our final color and this design paper it is so cool I really like the color palette on it and it actually makes me think about mermaids if you agree with me please let me know in the comments down below. And again, using my ruler, I'm going to leave a small gap on each side. So this way, I'm going to have a nice black border on each side. Do you use that trick in your card making? Please let me know in the comments down below. So now it is time to put those together. Again, I'm going to use my one and only liquid glue, magic glue, and everything will be adhered forever and at this point I thought I really like the panels but is there a way I can actually make them even more special on a card and to do it I decided to add a little bit dimension so to do it I'm going to need double-sided foam adhesive but first I'm going to cut the excess at the bottom of our front panel and it is time to put them together so let's have a look at the focal element it actually goes over our semicircle a little bit, but I really like it that way. Now I'm going to use my scoring board and on the back panel, I'm going to create a top flap. Super quick and easy. And if you have never ever used that trick for shape cards, please do it because this doesn't take any time, but it makes your cards very special and you do have space to write your message inside. And that's exactly what we want. And this way also your card will stand proudly on the flat surface. Now it is time to put the focal element. And as I told you before, I'm going to decorate it. For this one, I decided to use that lady in a blue dress. However, as you can see in the whole collection, there are so many possibilities or options you can choose for your card making. I also wonder, have you seen the film Great Gatsby? If you have, did you like it? A few months ago, I went to an exhibition in London where there was actually jewelry from Great Gatsby and it was amazing to see it in real life. That's why I actually like Art Deco, because it is all about sparkle and beautiful shapes and symmetry. If you agree with me, please let me know in the comments down below. As you saw, I absolutely love making sure that all the elements are cut properly. So I use my craft knife for all the small elements so we can actually see through the background on the card. And if you use that trick, or maybe you don't, I do encourage you to try it. But be careful with a craft knife. And actually, I wonder how often do you use a craft knife in your card making? Do you have your favorite craft knife? Please let me know in the comments down below. It is time to put our amazing lady at the front panel and then put them together. Super quick and easy. And again, if you have never joined our RT Create, Make and Share Facebook group, I really encourage you to do so. Check the link in the description down below because every day there are so many beautiful projects posted there. Now it is time to peel off the backing of the double-sided foam adhesive. As you can see, I only put it at the lower end because I don't want the foam adhesive to actually stick off the card when we turn it. So this is the way to go. And it's always a good idea to put a few drops of liquid glue on both sides because with time that dry adhesive will dry even more and this is the way to make sure that your card will last forever like in this case we do have our deco style still because it is so beautiful right it is time to put our focal element on the card and at this point all we need to do is to add a sentiment and here I thought I really need something with gold, but I didn't want to use the same gold mirror card. I use solid gold from Crafters Companion. It has that beautiful yellow tone and I really like it. If you like it as well, please let me know in the comments down below. And this sentiment says on your name day. We do celebrate it in Poland. To be honest, I'm pretty unlucky because on one day I've got my birthday and the second day, 
straight after I've got my name day, so I only get one present a year. But many people have name day and birthday in different months, so they usually get two different presents. As you can see, there is plenty of space to write your message. Of course, I needed to add some gold gems and the card is complete. Thank you so much for watching and spending that time with me. Here you can see two other Art Deco cards I created, so please watch those videos. And subscribe to my channel if you're new. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye for now!